hello hello welcome everybody to possibly the last the last question mark spirit mod video until release that is and in this video we're going to be going over some hard mode gear and that being the metals from hard mode the ores from hard mode and then a couple of little extra things too but uh real quick oh that is already turned off hard. oh i guess when you fly you'll always see the wings so we're gonna start with the cobalt stuff right here boom cobalt ring Increases melee and movement speed by 10%. Put this baby on. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going pretty solid rate. Let's also test melee speed. Well, let's just go through everything before I start testing it. Cobalt Warhammer. Uh, it's a Warhammer, of course. Hold up. Do I have any walls to break down? Let me uh, let me cut down this tree with this beautiful axe. Yeah, let's see. That's not even that fast of an axe. This is not one of those axes that'd be fast more than it is just like an axe. That would just heavy, heavily hit, destroy something quicker. I don't know. Less hits. Faster destroy. I don't know. I just feel like faster. Faster swinging is faster hitting. But let's check this out. It's not bad. It's not bad for uh, hard mode. But uh, moving on, we got the Cobalt Staff. The Magic Staff. Hello, slime. My aim is atrocious. I like the little point on it. Summoning some zombies, though. You got a nice little damage, especially if you are like going mage. You probably have a mage armor set. Look at that, it can hit like multiple if they're really close together. And then we got the cobalt cutters, which I used in the last video. Let's get some, get some enemies here. Ooh. Okay. I see you. These guys, these guys are pretty good. I don't know why I spawned in a server in a Cthulhu, but that's pretty good. So, look at this: increased melee and movement speed by 10%. So that's how fast I'm swinging this. Now let's see. Yep, yeah, it's a little bit, a little minor upgrade. Not 100% like visual, but you can see it. And then of course, put the ring on, you'll be 10% faster. But in any playthrough, I don't really use movement speed as a thing. I use it more as of, of accessories, but I don't use accessories that, I don't know, I'm not explaining it. I feel like movement speed is one of those things you don't really need, but you need more of a something to evade enemies, which I guess you can say movement speed. But I would say a dash is where it's at. Applies left regen when an enemy's hit. So palladium stuff. Life regen when enemies hit. I think I use this. Did I use this? Can I not equip it? What's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> well, let me equip it. Applies that. Okay. Well, do we have it equipped then? Hold up. Eh. I don't. Well, we can't really life regen. I don't know what's going on with it. Hm. Okay, so. Uh, Palladium Morax, we just saw how fast that is. A little bit faster than the Cobalt one, it feels like. And then we got the Palladium Staff. Summoning some of these guys. So this shoots like, like little little baby flares at things. Let's see what it says. No, it doesn't say the tooltip of what it does. But it shoots a little, like, little fire everywhere. Palladium Flamiums. I don't know what they're called. And then Palladium Points. Let's go ahead and summon demon eyes. So I'm gonna summon in flying things for. Oh, the hell would you come from? No, I guess the crimson is pretty close. Uh, yeah, but I'm summoning flying things for the throwing weapons, just to see how far they can go before they drop. These things can go pretty far before they just drop straight down. Okay, moving on to the mithril stuff. Tier two here. Mithril charm, taking damage, deals damage to enemies in an area around you. Sounds very interesting. So. I did not mean to summon in him. Okay, uh, Mythil Warhammer. Of course, it's gonna be faster. I don't know. That felt like uh, Cobalt speed, to be honest. But let's summon in some Demon Eyes. I don't know why I'm always summoning in Demon Eyes now. These look like they home. They do home. That's really cool. That is extremely cool. Ooh, I like this stuff. So there's that, and then we got the Mythril Machetes. Mm, yummy. Uh, we'll use on some zombies. Show some zombies some love. And then we'll go ahead and do the demon eyes. So I'm guessing these can go a little bit farther. Not the farthest, but a little bit farther than the palladium ones, of course. Direct upgrade. Now let's get hit. Let's get hit. Let's put multiple zombies down here, and then let's get hit. So it does a really small amount of damage, but it does damage either way. Yeah, you can use these hammers as weapons. I've always thought about doing a playthrough like that where I use like tools as weapons. 
That might be a thing on the straw poll. Stay woke. Stay woke on that one. Okay, so moving on. We're going to the Orcalcum. Orcalcum stuff. So the ring attacking can send a fast pedal across the screen. Let's check that out. Ooh, see, that's not gonna work. When there's... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to summon them in there. Okay. Come on. Fast pedal, go. Fast pedal, activate. Activate. Fast pedal. Oh, I'm getting life regen. What the fuck? Where am I getting life regen from? Tell me, what, what am I in life regen from? Is the armor set? No. Wait, is it? I don't know. Summoning a bunch of stuff and attacking. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing it fly across. But it's kinda like what the isn't the armor set like that? Isn't there an armor set like that? Where some just flies across the screen? Yeah, I think that's the or, No it's not. I don't know. But there's that ring. Moving on, we got the Warhammer. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. But uh moving on, we got the staff next. This better be amazing. This better be homing bombs. Okay. They're not homing. But they're one of the other better things they pierce. Which is always something you want on a mage weapon when it comes to like wave clearing. So that's good. And then moving on to the operators or Calcum Operator. So let's get some ground targets. Ooh, these got pretty good velocity. But they still go down after a while. So I feel like a lot of the uh, throwing weapons for the auras, a lot of them are very close range throwing weapons. You think I can hit him? Oh, hell no, not over there. Oh, wait. Come on. Come back through this way. Oh, oh my god. The luckiest. Oh. I'm just gonna kill him. Okay, so. Boom. There's our Calcum stuff. Now, tier 3 stuff. Adamantite Band. Gives stat bonuses below 50% HP, but decreases defense by 8. Wow. Do I even need to show this one off? Stat bonuses. Okay, hold up here. Uh take off this armor set so let's use the warhammer so it's at 43 damage let's try and get below a ha uh, half health come on I'm walking into you guys what is that Im fucking immunity what the hell below half so that'd be like below 200 what do i wanna oh shit i did have a palladium ring on the whole time what the heck did i always have that one okay um it went up like ever so slightly. <laughs> so it's at 47. 43. Five, uh, not five. Four damage. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, but I don't know if that's worth losing the eight defense for that ring. Moving on. We got the Adamantite Warhammer. So this should be really fast because that's what I have on me right now, actually. And it's not really fast, but it's still pretty fast. Moving on, we got the Adamantite Staff. Hello, all you zombies. Ooh, that does like a little plus sign. Look at that. I like that. A little plus sign. So I can hit enemies from all directions. All directions. Another good uh, wave clearing type uh, staff. And then we got the Anlace. Onless. Onless? Anlace? Whatever. Pierce? They pierce? Best weapons. Best throwing tier weapons right here. Throwing tier? Uh best hard mode or weapons put these zombies thank you okay moving on titanium every hit has a chance to give you shadow dodge i think i use this i think i did use this in one of the fights was it against inferno i don't remember but you get a chance to shadow dodge there you go i just did it right there nice moving on warhammer might as well use it on the zombies am i right that was not bad at all so this should be faster than adamantite yep just a little bit, ever so slightly faster. Uh, and then we got the titanium staff. I'm interested to see what this does. Because all the staffs have their own little unique stuff. Ooh. A little rain? I mean, it's probably way better on enemies that don't run away from you. But still, that's good. So let's put a bunch of these guys together. There we go. Mm. I feel like I'd take initial damage and then have that. I don't know. I feel like that can be useful in uh, invasions, though. Because AoE is always good in invasions. And <laughs> Titanium triangles. I definitely use this a lot in the Inferno thing, kind of. Did I use it in the Dust King? I don't even remember, to be honest. But yeah, these, they go far. So 
not really far, but they cover a lot of distance at least. And the other thing, they pierce like hell. I think all of them pierce to be honest. I wasn't paying attention to that. But moving on to the final stuff, we got the possessed armor stuff. Now, where do you get this from? The possessed armor, I think. Let me just check. Let me make sure. Yeah, you definitely get it from possessed armor. So the helmet, possessed headgear, eight defense, increased melee speed by seven percent. Uh, let's see our melee speed. Right, I'm about to, I'm about to sneeze. Hold up. We're good. All right. So this is melee speed. Put the helmet on. A little bit faster. Uh, possessed chest plate, ten defense, increased melee damage by five percent. Forty-four. Now we got forty-six. Possessed leggings, six defense, increased melee speed by ten percent, melee damage four percent. What do we have? Forty-six. Forty-seven. So we should be swinging pretty good. And let's check out the bonus. Set bonus. Become the shadow upon reaching half health. Become the shadow upon reaching half health. I have no idea what that means. But before we check what that means, let's go over the weapons. Possessed blade. Nice little attack speed. I like it. It's a nice simple sword. And I don't do many melee weapon playthroughs. But this is really nice. Always, you know, swinging a nice simple trusty sword. <laughs> Just running through them. Worm? I can't get him. He's too fast for me. But, you know, melee weapons are always trusty. And then next we got the Possessed Warhammer. i say that's like Mithril or Calcum. Or Calcum speed. I don't know. That's what it feels like. I'm going to do like perfect tests on all of them. And then just like, okay, this is the exact speed it moves in. Even though I probably should. But, you know, I'm just going by looks it looks like it's faster and then we got the axe of course which is kind of slow but it's one of those things where it's like it's slow but it takes less hits i don't know kind of evens out to be honest and then the battle axe and there's a weapon trigger this broom is from the nightmare mod by the way if there's no people are gonna ask because when no people ask and that is all that is all the pre-hard mode stuff, not pre-hard mode, hard mode stuff I'm going to go over for now until the mod comes out. Unless there's a couple things here and there that uh, Phoenix would allow me to show or wants me to show. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. The smear mod is right around the corner and I cannot 